going down Fucking dying. I don't like any of this. Five percent chance for Setsuko to get fucking blown up. That's not bad. If she had focus active, then she'd be in the term, so. They brought us to their oblivion dimension, their void zone. And then we took them to our call zone. Fucking died. Fucking gone. And with that, go that top one love. So impossible. Why? Why can't we win? We're the chosen ones of the Ghetto Rays! And Ryan was like, you fucking idiot, you picked a fight with the whole universe! Literally every other living being! You can't win! But, w shut up, shut up! We're the chosen- What? Wait! Why aren't we the chosen ones of the Ghetto Rays? This- What the- It's like, shut up, idiot! And then, his uh, mysterious is like, yeah, that's right! Wing. That light! It's the Ghetto Rays! And then, Alright, Cohen's thing up. This is. And it's Satome. And he says that he's become one with the Ghetto Rays now, and he implores his former comrades in science to remember their former lives. They need only one thing to complete their journey the desire to live together in peace. And he originally built the Ghetto Robo with its three pilot system as a testament to this universal truth that cooperation and working together is good. And uh, with that, puny individual lives overcome the endless blackness of space. In other words, Satome and all of his friends are practicing the very thing that the invaders needed most, even without fully realizing it. It's like incredible, what a good dude. And now they're crying like, incredible for Satome, it's so moving, the truth is revealed to us. It's beautiful, Ghetto Rays are actually good, friendship is good. And they realize it now, thank you for Satome for revealing the truth and now we can escape our own nihilism. Yeah, let's go. Dad. But anyway, see ya kids. I'm out. Anyways. 
Cohen Stinger. Yeah, the old deathbed repentance. Infallible. But yeah, now uh, we're done. Unfortunately, they were sort of the only thing keeping this space around. Whoops. So, now everything's collapsing. What are we going to do now? And Drummond's like, alright, no, we're up. Ryoma! Ryoma, what are you doing? He's like, don't worry, we got this. And his guy's like, yep, we're going to make the Getter Race do something for us for a change. And Ryoma's prepared to die if need be. But, let's see what we can do. Ryoma! Ryoma, son! What the heck's this light dryer? AG? And, um. Uh, yep, AG's like, up oh, there, three hearts are truly united as one with the Getter Robo. The, this is the power of Getter Rays. And everyone was like, Getter, listen to us, let's go. And then Nordica's like, this inferno. It's like, the light of the Getter Rays? This is. Ryoma and the Getter Robo. The true. Oh! And here's Ryoma talking to the Getter Army and their leader, this guy. No more illusion from the Shinshine Spark. And the leader tells Ryoma uh, that for a moment the power of his life force, striving to live, surpassed the invader's desire to obliterate. Remember that thing about how we had the power of life versus the power of nothingness? And one uh, door opened along the path to truly winning survival. And not just for Ryoma, either. The entire team's will was united. So, the entire team gets to peep all these wicked sick getters. But thanks for lending us... Like, yeah, everyone's like, what the heck? Look at that! That's friggin' holy moly! Look at that getter! That's a big fucking sword! Wow, look at all that! It's like the friggin' Garen Logan big, but getter! Wow, so this is the getter thing? It's like, yeah, we do this every attack. Pretty wild. It's like, yep, this is us. They're all us, by the way. But all uh, the getters from all parallel universes are gathered here. And piloting them are all the parallel Ryomas. And the spokes guy says that uh, with all the cool dudes on Zet Blue, it's no wonder that Ryoma was chosen. And Ryoma's like, no, we weren't chosen. I chose for myself. And he's like, <laughs> well said. And he says, uh, they'll meet again and fight against, uh, yeah, they'll meet again and fight again at the end of the myth. The time when all worlds will become one, and a new world will begin. And he was like, I don't know about that. But for now, time to get our butts back to regular space. Hey, look at that. We did it. Nice work. We beat the invaders, we're out of invader space, back in regular space. Nice work. Power of the getter, huh? What is it, Ryoma? Eh, you know, it's not... What? But Ryoma's like, nah, it's fine, don't worry, it's good. We did it. Then the quarter and all of its little fellas show up with the Macross quarter. Hell yeah! Now the quarter says that blue's already united. Nice work. Now we can get back to Neo Buster Machine Three and uh, delivering its thing. Yep. Time to we beat the invaders and uh, we got out of their weird dimension. Time to uh, for our final throwdown with Baal, the space monsters at least. And so we talk about they did their galaxy fleet thing and we met contact and it was weird and Mishima murdered Grace and then they put on a concert and it was fold waves. Uh, Alto said he didn't love the lady and then he almost got teleported away but then he didn't. And we beat Mikage up and then Mikage sort of just went <sighs> and couldn't be fucked anymore. It was weird. Uh, but he's back inside Toma now and uh, Toma and... Then Fudo are flying around, and also Fudo was Apollonius all along. He's the real Apollonius. So like, well, yeah, it was pretty fucking wild, all things considered. And do you guys got Zeus? Yep, yeah, we got Zeus and uh, Vajra and the Macro 7. Yep, yeah, we got everything together, and we got the new plane, he got a new move. It's wild. Alto and Cheryl. Wow, they finally. <laughs> Koji's just. Whoa! Alto and Cheryl, huh? Like, yeah, Aranka's doing okay. Those three are gonna have, and Riddy has also got issues with being the one that wasn't picked in the love triangle. But it's fine. We beat up the dudes, and now we gotta go fight the Baal. Let's do it. And uh, Ryoma's got more on his mind. 
then he's uh, gonna let on to everybody. And it's like, don't worry, we just witnessed the power together, it's fine. It's like, Ryoma, Shingeta's power's pretty wild. He's like, yeah, I know. And then internally, he uh, says, um, the sensation he felt was different um, from the stone of sunshine or the shine spark. If anything, it was like he became one with the getter, with the machine. What's that all about? Weird. 24 days to go. But yeah, so on this route, it's Ryoma who felt he became one with his mech, which makes a lot more sense than the singing guy, but.